Welcome back to another Plinko Board Budget Challenge. Today we're going to be building the ultimate gaming force. $300 versus $30,000 gaming force. And we have some challenges from Google Play Games along the way. And at the end, we have a mystery judge who's going to crown the winner. How about you drop first? All right. Google Play Games lets you sync your mobile games to PC. Today's challenges will be played on Township by Playwreck. Thank you, Google Play Games, for sponsoring this video. Thank you. you hoping for the big baller? Because it's not happening. Come on, come on. Uh-oh. $3,000. It's decent. Pretty mid. <laughs> <laughs> Lightning power! Dang it! <laughs> Lightning! It's gonna come back over this way. Not a chance. Yes. Go. Yes. Go. Other way. Go. 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 Yes. Go. Go. No! Why? The big baller king hits the throne! Are you serious? $30,000 for a gaming fort? That means you get $300, Isaac. Oh, man. We each get a basic room to start our gaming force. Wow, oh, there's a decent amount to work with. There's a lot of space. I do have a small budget, only $300. Okay, so $3,000. I feel like there's a lot I can do in this room. I think this is too small for my $30,000 budget. I thought that was supposed to break. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll just go out the front door. <laughs> so as you can see, this space over here, massive. Way more opportunities to build something even bigger than what that blank room has to offer. And I happen to have a construction crew on standby, so let me give them a call. What? <laughs> Who's guy think he is? Dad? All right, gentlemen, we are tasked to build the most insane, epic gaming room possible. So, definitely big walls. So, tall wall two here. Obviously, it needs to be 3D. We need to be able to go into the building, so. We're on our way to the store to get our gaming room supplies. I have a low budget. I want to try and use natural resources. Oh. And since we're out in the woods, I'm thinking I might go forest theme. And we're gonna have lots of RBG lights, like shelving in the wall. We're gonna have a ceiling as well. Who knows what a ceiling is? I think if I go with a beach theme, because it is summer. Have you ever seen a gaming room inside of a beach? Oh gosh. One tree is 75. This is the best we can do. They look kind of dead. So maybe it's just a forest, like right in that beautiful season between summer and winter when everything's dying. We need a nice gaming chair, outlets, because without outlets, we can't do anything at all. Ugh. There's a lot less trees now that they're in the room. So for challenge one, we're going to be playing Township by Playrix on our mobile phone. For the challenge, you must be the first to grow and harvest two different crops in the game. If you win, you get a box of super cool items to add to your fort. Right here, you're gonna want that. If you lose, you must incorporate the items from the sabotage box in your final fort build. And let me say, you don't wanna lose because there's some very bad stuff in there. Good luck. Challenge begins in three, two, one, go. Where do I find, where do I plant the crops? Where do you Should plant we... the crops? This Come guy on, looks guy. like a crop guy. I got corn and I got wheat. My barn is full, I can't even harvest crops. I just harvested my wheat. How long does it take for yours? Oh, four I'm sorry, minutes. four minutes. What? No, what are you doing? Now harvest, two crops done. Oh. No! Winner! Yes! You guys have to share the sabotage box. You can have the fart spray. I don't want the fart spray. That's it, rock, paper, scissors. Yes! There you go. Who's the mystery judge? He's gonna hate me. Can't go wrong with the lava lamp. The RGBs are in these things, man. How on earth are we gonna incorporate this in our forts? As nasty as this is, these actually will go perfect in my forest. Portable movie projector? Why are there so many fly traps? <laughs> Nobody knows. It looks like something that washed up on the beach. I'll have a whole part of the beach just like plastic from debris. Raise awareness. <laughs> From the outside, it's gonna look like a bungalow and you'll be able to see the ocean waves and a mural on the back with the sunset. Oh, whoa, that's bad. That is super lame. Not lame, good. We actually have life in our box. <laughs> like, I don't know if we have any life in here, man. Have you seen these leaves? We got worms. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, where's the hammers? What the heck is he doing? Isaac, we got dirt to shovel. <laughs> Blake apparently knows about some really good dirt around here. By the treehouse. This is some quality dirt, my friend. Ow! Look at this, this is way better than that other dirt. Let's probably dump all this out. Right there? It's like nails and stuff. <laughs> this dirt sucks. Right? What do you mean it sucks? You just said it's the premium yeah, dirt. It's all hard. Oh. A nice view of the sunset. This is heavy, dude. <laughs> you didn't say anything, Rick? What the heck is Justin doing? 
Justin has lost the plot completely. <laughs> ah, weary traveler Isaac. Oh, an welcome NPC. to the blacksmiths. What can I get you? Uh, I need help pushing this thing of dirt. Have a lovely day. What do you have that I can ha they can I can use? I am a blacksmith. Day two, the build teams have been going crazy. I think we should start the day with a challenge. So what we have to do is sync to Google Play games on the PC, grow two crops, harvest them, and turn them into a product. The reward, the winner gets a sledgehammer. What? And one swing at an opposing fort. No way, I can't afford that. Your <laughs> fort's gonna look real bad after this. Ready to game. I'm transferring my Township game on mobile to the PC. Let's go. Whoa, Township's so big on here. It's got all my progress from my phone. That's actually sick. All right, fellas, three, two, one, go! Okay, 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 yeah, let's, let's do some wheat here. Boom, boom, boom. The best part of this is that the controls are the exact same on the phone, so you don't really need to learn anything new. Okay, we just got wheat. Crops are almost done. What? My corn's taking forever. Shouldn't have done corn. While my crops are gone, let me show you the beach area. This is the whole reason I did this theme in here. Look at these guys chilling by the beach. Doesn't that just look like a vibe? I already have a bad feeling that if either Justin or Andrew win, they're coming in here with a sledgehammer. I'm making bread, fellas. Five minutes remaining. Bread? You are not making bread. There's no way. Okay, my corn's ready to harvest. I've harvested two crops. You only need one product. Bread is in the oven. I've got a 500 degree oven going. It's just a waiting game at this point. My corn is one minute left. Okay. Okay, we got 50 seconds until my delicious baguette is done. No! I have two minutes and 50 seconds for my bread. Three, two, one. And I got bread made. Thank you very no! much. Where's the sledgehammer? All right, since you both lost, I can only pick one of you to sledgehammer, so I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Loser of rock, paper, scissors. Oh, it's going to get smashed. Yes! Yes! No. Time to destroy a wall. Oh, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> Sorry, Isaac. I didn't want to do this, but... No, no, no. You can't... No, no, not to roll on the gnome! No, no, no! How is this thing still intact? You didn't even hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Roll him! No! No, you cracked him! Oh! Hey! All right, Hopefully thanks. This is my house too, you know? Shut up. Sorry guys, shouldn't have lost. Oh boy, I don't know what to say. What are you gonna do about this hole? That's your, that's on you, man. No, this is your side as well. I'm grieving! Justin has just declared war on the forest. On the forest. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the progress we're making. Walls are going up, cutting unique shapes out. We pulled a lot of things on our channel. Nothing to this Excalibur. So Samuel, do you have any ideas for a cool desk design that we could do? Oh, we thought you meant deck. That's why we well, built you a deck. Do you need a hammer up here or no? Yeah, that's, that's looking good. Let's go see what they've done. <laughs> Sun's is looking nice. The smell's over here, man. What the heck? Love what you've been doing to the place. Uh, yeah, me too. Whoa, can't breathe. Me neither. <laughs> I like this guy. Great work. Great. What you doing? Putting trees on. No, we don't want that kind of tree. So that's what a tree's supposed to look like. No, that's a generic tree. I'm trying to match the trees we already got. The build is going great. Tools down. It's time for challenge three. On Google Play Games, acquire 10 new residents to your town. The winner gets $500 to their budget. Okay. And losers have to take an ice bath. Not worried about ice bath. Why not? Because I've won the first two challenges. I'm going for okay, three for, in a row. He's, he's for sure he's losing. losing. I need this money by far the most. Get 10 people? I can do this in one second. I've got a nice taller sand castle chair for this next round of gaming. All right, three, two, one, go! Oh look, a 10 person house. Let's just throw this right by the road. Okay, I need to figure out how to get residents. I don't know how to do that yet. Grandma told me that there's a little house in the Enchanted Country. Are you serious? Oh, I can build a house of luck. No way. This would be so lucky. Oh, houses. You having trouble, Isaac? Nope, I'm doing good. Well, hours. Ah! Oh, oh, no way. This one only costs one buck to fully build. Yes! What? I got 10 people in my city. How? Uh, no, you didn't. 
Guys, I accidentally lied. Who does that? You accidentally lied? I accidentally only increased my population cap rather than the actual residents. <laughs> I knew this. It was had to be a joke. I need some like travel brochures or something. I'm six minutes away from victory, fellas. Guys, I need this $500 so bad. Hurry up, you freaks. What is this dude doing? He's just standing there drinking coffee on the job. There's some guy stuck in a manhole. What's going on in this town? Wait. What? It only costs one buck now to fully build my Cape Cod cottage. Yes! I have 75 people now! What? I did it! Are you telling the truth this time, or is this another big cat? No, this time I'm being for real. Andrew, check his work! My forest is saved. What did you have before? 65. You're not lying? Not lying, promise. That means I have to go in the ice bath. <laughs> oh. No! <sighs> this makes me very happy, guys. Not me. Time for your punishment. Get in. I don't want to. Ah, Holy cow. Yikes. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh my gosh. You have to be in here for five minutes. So while we're in here, we're going to tell you about Google Play Games. Google Play Games is great because you can pick up your games right where you left off and sync across devices. That's why we're able to play Township on mobile and then keep going on PC like there's no problem. You can immerse yourself in mobile games like never before on bigger screens. And use oh. keyboard and mouse to boost your performances. Ah! The five minutes up yet! Google Play Games works with developers to ensure that every game is optimized for PC. They also run safety checks on all your games to keep your devices safe and secure. I'm never losing a challenge again. Please don't attack me. Five, four, Ow! three, Ow! two, one. Oh! 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 Where's the towel? The towel. <laughs> it's not, nothing's helping, I'm still cold. <sighs> I love that. I guess we'll get back to building. I can't even feel my body. There's poop on your towel. Me either. Why? All right, we're on our way to the store for a second time. This time, I have a way bigger budget. Stuff like this is what I need. I'm gonna still get some more trees. This stuff is good, good, good. This is $70. <gasps> this is perfect. <laughs> what good woods doesn't have moss? I don't know how I keep ending up pushing Andrew's stuff. Look at this, dude. Look at it. There's barely anything in this car, and it was $350. It's for Andrew. No way. It's, it's for Andrew. He needs the help. Heck no. <laughs> I'm really nervous about what Blake's done to my gaming room. I told him while we were gone, he could do whatever he wants. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably dumped the worms everywhere. He loves those worms. I like our worms. Worms are a sign of life. Yes. Out of all the boxes, we we have the most life in our box. They're also a sign of death. But they're not. This is kind of looking like a desert, but not anymore, because we got green galore. Ooh, that's fire. It's the final day. We're putting the last touches on our gaming force. Guys, I can't wait for you to see the final product. These rooms are looking nuts. How's yours look? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> so currently installing some light triangles. We're filling in this gap here. I know for a fact the judge is gonna lose his mind when he sees all these colors. Uh, yeah, that's fine. All right, so now we're gonna fill in our river with rocks before the water. That's gonna be our last big hurrah. You brought a whole tree in here, Blake. All right, I'm hanging up more LED lights. This is going around the very top of the cabana. It's a perfect sunset color, so. I want it to blend in with the whole forest theme, so I'm gonna cover the whole desk and everything with moss. Whoa, look at that, guys. Whoa. Fellas, it's time for the final challenge before the grand reveal. And this last challenge has a nice reward. Challenge four, sink back to mobile and fulfill as many helicopter orders as you can in under five minutes. The reward, winner can take one item from each opponent's fort. Losers must hold the work for an hour. I don't wanna lose because I don't want you guys taking anything from mine. I got all sorts of great things. Challenge begins in three, two, one, go. It requires us to exit the desktop and open it up on the phone. Come on, baby, come on. Loading, loading. And just like that, got it open on the phone. I already have enough materials for one helicopter. Helicopter one, out. What? Boom, just sent a helicopter. You sent one too? Boom, sending another one, bang. There's no way. Helicopter two, sending. What? <laughs> Andrew, you better hurry up. I don't have any materials. I gotta make bagels. Boom, number three. Number three helicopter, out. There's no way, there's no way. Boom, fourth helicopter Fourth helicopter out. out. Are you serious? You're tired of me? All right, now I gotta figure out what resources I need. I, I can't exit out of this. this fifth helicopter, helicopter out. out. No way. You do not do it at the same time as I me. just did. So it looks like Isaac and I both tied at five helicopters somehow. He's out of the count, so tiebreaker. Next helicopter 
Set out wins the game. Okay. Go. Harvest, harvest. I literally just need these three wheats. 20 seconds till my wheat. How long do you need? Boom! Helicopter oh, set! Oh! How? Oh, yes! I'm so cracked at township. We have to stop working now for an hour. You have to stop just, working now, Samuel. Well, T minus an hour till we get to work again, guys. You guys are the best workers I've known. All right, Justin and Andrew are still on their one hour break, but it is the moment that you've been waiting for. I'm gonna fill up my river. Like the worth that uh, Sorry, there's a lot of sawdust in the air. The uh, worth, uh, Never mind, guys, just this sucks. While I wait for the hour to be up, might as well level up township. See, this is nice. Well, we could sell some wheat, you know, get some coins. That's usually helpful. I like what you've done with the swamp. No, not a swamp. Uh, what kind of water features do you have in yours? Um, well, typically in my gaming rooms, I don't want water because water will just completely destroy electronics. Oh, we got some eggs. I'm here in Andrew's gaming fort and I get to pick one item to steal. I love the boat. Could I have it floating down the river, maybe? Please don't take the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Towel. After we swim in the river, maybe? What's in here? That's for building my sand castle. You don't even have any sand. I can make dirt castles. How do you feel about this lava lamp? I love it all. I don't know what this is, but it looks crazy. Maybe aliens landed in the woods. You're bothering me. I'm playing township. Is it pretty comfortable while you play township? Oh, whoa! You better not break my chair, boy. I'm kind of digging these palm trees, honestly. I'm going to take your small one. Since you got like nothing in here, it's kind of looking kind of barren and lame. You do love your plants, so that makes sense. I think if I put this in the corner, it shines a beautiful glow across the whole forest. I'll take this guy. I remain strong in my $30,000 gaming room. <sighs> it's kind of like this is where the beach ends and this is where the forest begins. All right, so I got Justin's lights and I got Andrew's palm tree. And hopefully I made theirs just a little bit worse and mine a little bit better. The hour's up, we can finally get back to work. Samuel, Reese, where are ya? Yeah, hit the hammers, get the nails and screws. We gotta finish the desk here. Is this ready to install yet? Yeah, how much time until the judge gets here? Not a lot. I forgot I had the prize box. The more lightning, the better. Giant gaming mat. Judge is gonna get here. He doesn't wanna see concrete. He's not gonna see any concrete. This is all gonna be sand. All right, guys, I'm finished. The last step that I need to do to complete my fort is switch township back off this pixel, back onto the PC. So I'm gonna close this out. Boom, and we're already playing at the computer desk. We are finally done with our builds and about to give you guys tours, but first let us introduce you to our guest, <laughs> Gamer <laughs> Judge. There he is, Josh. Thank you for being here. I am happy to be here to judge whatever you may or may not have for me to see or not see. Yeah, you know something about gaming rooms, right? I mean, I've been in one for the past 10 years, haven't seen the sun, ever. All right, so I had $3,000 to build my gaming for. This is Playa del Gaming. Whoa. Come on in. This is the main gaming area. So this is the gaming desk. We have snacks right here. I got the township ball pulled up. So this definitely has the comfort aspect. I like the speakers, I like the big monitor. Very comfortable chair. But what I usually look for, oh, I think this doesn't have nuts in it, does it? <laughs> I forgot about the most important feature of the desk here. I have a foot massager, so when you're gaming, you can just get full of comfort. Comfort overload. This is the relaxation swing. Now just relax for a second while I set up my next. Oh no. If you're going out on the beach, you want to be protected at all times. We going? Oh. That's okay. <laughs> I got my gaming goggles and I'm ready for the beach. You can relax down here. Ah, oh, just chill by the ocean. But there's one thing. What? <laughs> Your, your beach has trash on it. That was not what I really wanted to use for this at fort, but I had to, and I thought it just kind of complemented right there somehow. I think you did very well getting the aesthetic down perfectly. Oh, thank you. Let's go see somebody else's gaming fort. Part of the punishment was I have to spray this right before he comes in. Oh, man. Josh, come on in. So I had $300 to make my gaming fort. I made a fort called the Wooded Glen Gaming Room. So right off the bat, I can show you, I have a beautiful river running through my forest right here. It smells weird. No? 
I don't smell nothing. Now, let's continue over to my gaming setup. Yes. You may not have even seen it here because it's blended in perfectly with the woods. There's a gaming setup. Cosmo on there. I will say I was worried about the moss, but it does kind of get in the way of that uh, rustic, uh, hard bench feeling. Hmm. Man, that stinks. That must be, uh, there must be some doo-doo around here somewhere. Can I go to the next gaming room? <laughs> Not yet. So in my forest, we actually have some fruit trees. We got apple tree over here, banana tree right there. It's growing straight from the tree, even with the, the naturally occurring sticker on it too. Oh yeah. Check out the town. That's what I'm saying. Have you ever played a video game where no. you're literally in the environment? while you're playing? That is a good point. Have you That's ever? Point. Have you ever? Surprisingly, this gaming room is very immersive. Also, just one question is, he, he doing anything? He's you, pretty friendly. Friendly? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> got a nice looking river, got a nice looking set of trees, got a nice uh, overall setup, very immersive, but at the same time, the immersiveness is going into my gaming experience and maybe getting in the way of actually gaming. On top of all that, I will have to give some negatives to the smell. I don't know where it came yes. from. Oh gosh. But of course, I can't judge it fully until I've seen all three gaming rooms. Oh, you're gonna hate the last one. It sucks. Okay, Josh. I had a $30,000 budget, and I really wanted to create something that would just embody the gamer themselves, have everything they could ever want. So I'm proud to introduce to you the ultra, mega, millionaire gamer cube. But first we need to cut the lights. Go ahead and turn off the lights, guys. You can drop the curtain in three, two, one. Go ahead. Welcome. Oh, that's pretty cool. I like that. Come on. <laughs> we got a stare to step up into the gamer heaven with multiple monitors, a wall of gaming lights, neon signs, infinity cube. I want one of these things so bad. I love these things. We got just different types of keyboards, gamer books over there. We got the lightning bolts up here. What would you give the rating of this seat? Why don't you take a seat? Ah, I could sleep in this chair. Eat, sleep, game, repeat. You don't want to be immersed in just the game. You want to feel creative when you step outside of the screen. And wow, I'm just immersed in the colors and the world of gaming. I, I want to go sit back down. I don't know what I'm talking about, but I'm sure you understand. And you've got plenty of RGB, which obviously RGB gives you more frame rate. The lights can change any color you want. So they can go from like casual to like intense gamer mode? Sure. That's pretty nice. There you go, man. Let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of my township town? Honestly, this is pretty nice. Can I just, ooh. Yeah, go for it. I won a few of the challenges with my town, so I'm pretty proud of it. It's very well done, I like it. Thanks. So, overall, look at this. So much light, so much room to do stuff. You didn't build it all yourself, but you know. They built all of theirs themselves, and that was kind of impressive. Josh, we're all dying to know whose gaming fort you thought was the best. Well, you did a good job with your budget. I think Isaac even did better with his budget. Isaac's room, honestly, at the end of the day, it's not as good as this one. I love this room, it's so good. Yes! Cool. As expected. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Josh. I'm glad to be here. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you, Google Play Games, for sponsoring this video. Make sure you check out Google Play Games Beta, where you can play your favorite mobile games now on PC.